<laughs> the service for holy baptism is on page 121. In holy baptism, our gracious Heavenly Father liberates us from sin and death and by joining us to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are born children of a fallen humanity. In the waters of baptism, we are reborn children of God and inheritors of eternal life. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church, which is the body of Christ. As we live with him and with his people, we grow in faith, love, and obedience to the will of God. I therefore ask the parents and sponsors, do you present Henry Thomas to receive the sacrament of holy baptism? If, if so, answer, we do. We do. In Christian love, you have presented this child for holy baptism. You should therefore bring him to the services of God's house, teach him the Lord's Prayer, the Creed, and the Ten Commandments. As he grows in his years, you should place in his hands the Holy Scriptures and provide for his instruction in the Christian faith that living in the covenant of his baptism and in communion with the church, he may lead a godly life until the day of Jesus Christ. Do you promise to fulfill these obligations? If so, answer, I do. I do. The Lord be with you. And also with you. you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right to give God praise. thanks and praise. Holy God, mighty Lord, gracious Father, we give you thanks, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and you created heaven and earth. By the gift of water you nourish and sustain us and all living things. By the waters of the flood you condemned the wicked and saved those whom you had chosen, Noah and his family. You, can, you led Israel by pillar of cloud and fire through the sea, out of slavery and into the promised land. In the waters of the Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed by the Spirit. By the baptism of his own death and resurrection, your beloved son has set us free from the bondage to sin and death and has opened the way to the joy and freedom of everlasting life. He made water a sign of the kingdom and of cleansing and rebirth. In obedience to his command, we make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Pour out your Holy Spirit, so that he who is here baptized may be given new life. Wash away all the sin of those who are cleansed by this water, and bring them forth as inheritors of your glorious kingdom. To you be given praise and honor and worship through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We ask the congregation to rise for the renunciation and for the profession of faith. So I ask you now to profess your faith in Christ Jesus, to reject sin, and to confess the faith of the church, the faith in which we baptize. Do you renounce all the forces of the evil, the devil, and all his empty promises? If so, answer, I do. I do. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Henry Thomas is baptized in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, who has begotten thee again of water and the 
Holy Spirit keep you in true faith unto everlasting life. Amen. You can look like you're winding up. <laughs> you're doing good now. We're on page 124. You may be seated. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we give you thanks for freeing your sons and daughters from the power of sin and for raising them up to new life through this holy sacrament. Pour your Holy Spirit upon Henry Thomas, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord, the spirit of joy in your presence. Amen. Henry Thomas, child of God, you have been marked with the cross of Christ and sealed forever. Amen. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Now, what we suggest you do is that you make another celebration for him. On the anniversary of his baptism, bring out the baptismal candle each year. Light it. Remind him that he has been claimed by God and by the preacher who's not going to let him go. <laughs> <laughs> and that he is a child of God forever. Let us pray. O God, the giver of all life, look with kindness upon fathers and mothers. Give them, let them ever rejoice in the gift you have given them. Make them teachers and examples of righteousness for their children. Strengthen them in their own baptism so they may share eternally with their children the salvation you have given them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through baptism, God has made this new brother a member of the priesthood we share in Christ Jesus, that we may proclaim the praise of God and bear his creative and redeeming word to all the world. We welcome, welcome you to the Lord's, Lord's family. We receive you as fellow members of the body of Christ, children of the same Heavenly Father, and workers with us in the kingdom of God. Peace be with you. And also with you. Let us share the peace of Christ. <laughs> Do you really want your baby back? <laughs>